So what do we need to create this bag? I have chosen three colours, uh, parchment, pale rose and grape from the um, Stylecraft Special DK range. It's 100% acrylic and it's got uh, 295 metres on a ball and the um, hook size is 4 millimetres. It says there, 4 millimetres. Now I know that my tension is quite loose so I always need to go down a hook size and for this particular project I'm going to use a three because I don't want any holes in my bag obviously because we don't want anything to fall through. Now let's get started so I'm going to start with this colour here parchment uh, and let's just push this out of the way and we are going to start with um, making our slip knot and chaining four. Now you can do a magic circle, but I found that a lot of <laughs> a lot of you get confused by a magic circle. So I thought I would design it in such a way that it is easy to do with a chain of four. Then you go back into the first stitch and you pull through slip stitch to make a little circle and let me just indicate to you where it is that you need to work into because that's always better if I can show you so here that's the middle of your little circle here there is also a little hole that might create itself and that's sort of over here but that's your stitch that's your first stitch so you need to make sure you're actually in there because that is where you're going to be putting your next stitches in. See, this is the little hole I'm talking about. So make sure you don't work into that, but in the hole below that, basically. Because look, if I pull this tight, it will close itself up. Okay, so let's get rid of this hook. So what my uh, intention here is, if you go round your little circle, putting your stitches in, Take this along with you because this is a stick, the, 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 the wool that you're going to be able to pull to close up your hole in the middle. Okay, so let's chain two, yarn over, and we're going to do half double crochet. So into that hole, and we do a half double crochet, and again, we need to do 10. Okay, so two, and now look, I am going over that, my end, and that's what I'm going to need, so I can pull the hole closed. As you can see, it's opening up, and obviously you don't want that in your bag. I have now lost count. So I shall have to count in a moment and see how many we've got. So can you see I've now got a, a hole, but that's okay. It'll close itself up in a moment. So two, four, six, eight. So I've got eight V's. I need ten. So we're doing another one. Nine. So did you see I counted back from the hook? Okay. And now we do a slip stitch into there. Sorry, that's the wrong place. Slip stitch into there. And that's our 10th V. So let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten Vs. And we have a little hole. So I'm going to try because normally it's easier if you hold it like that and then just pull. But obviously you're not going to be able to see that I'm actually pulling it uh, this way. So let's show you. Can you see? It's getting smaller and when we weave it in later on we'll pull it again and you weave it in really tight and that will keep the hole closed okay because you can pull it open again but this little bit here see it's easier if I can put my thumb on it and then it's closed so now we are going to do two chains and I always consider this to be my last stitch of the round so, 
first stitch of the round is in the next V and it's a half double crochet but it's two half double crochets in each stitch around. So we are now working in circles and we need to increase and there is a certain ratio to this increasing and this is an, an ideal opportunity for me to tell you or to teach you because that's what's going to happen in the bottom of this bag you see. So first row 10 half double crochets, next row we do two half double crochets in every stitch around so that means we're going to end up with 20 double crochets, uh, half double crochets, <laughs> yes they're not going to grow all of a sudden. Um, I quite like half double crochets because they make the project grow considerably, not like, you know, single crochets, that's just like, uh. but they also, um, oh, that's not gone right here, they also sort of provide a certain sturdiness. So hopefully that will help with our bag. It's going to be floppy, but that doesn't matter. It will fill up, when we fill it up, it will stand up. Okay, so I'm nearly there. So now I'm on that last stitch, but remember we already did the last stitch there, see? So we only need to do one half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we close up the round by putting a slip stitch and that last V, there we go. So this is our second round finished. So we have closed up our round and now we are going to chain up two and we're going to do a half double crochet in the first stitch. Then we are going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. Oh, sorry, my yarn split a little bit, yeah two and then in the next one one in the next one two and in the next one one so that's how you're going to go around it's a ratio of one two right so you start so this is our last stitch of the round so we're not looking at that you start one two one two one, two, and that's how you continue to the end. And I'll meet you right here. So I've come to the end of my round and I've just done two here, then a one. And now, of course, I'm here where I've already done that chain in my previous, you know, when I started. But of course, I need to do a two, so I'm going to do that two in that stitch where that chain is and then I am going to pick this up to do a slip stitch because that is then our two with uh, the chain and a double and a sing um, a half double crochet oh dear right so on to the next row we are going to chain up yarn over half double crochet one in that stitch one in the next stitch and two in the next stitch. So this time our ratio, that's just not cooperating that stitch there. Let's have a look and see if we can tell it who's boss. Yep. So this time our ratio, because we're not looking at that last stitch, remember, our ratio is one, one, two. So one, one, two. And that's how we go round towards the end of the row. And I'll see you there. So again, I'm at the end of the row and I've got my last stitch here. I've got that chain in there and indeed I need to do that last half double crochet to make this a second double crochet in that stitch because that's where I'm at. Uh, there's one one here and one one there so I need that second one there. So you then pick up this stitch here to do a slip stitch and close up your circle. So we now have one, two, three, four row rows. Now the next row, again it's going to be the same thing. We chain up 
one, 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 two. So each row you're going to increase your ones in between, but it gets confusing, right? So this is my little trick. One, two, three, four. We're now doing the fifth row. So chain up two. What we are going to do is count to five. So in the first stitch, hang on a minute, let me show you. In the first stitch there, no, that's not, yeah, in the first stitch right there. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to do this in the viewfinder. There's a little bit in between. Okay, so first stitch in there. Out again, yes, it's done it now. <laughs> okay, so one stitch, one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one is not allowed in the next stitch, but it's got to go in that same stitch as the previous one. So that gives you the ratio of one, 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 two, okay? So in the next row, six, we're going to count to six. And number five and six are going to be in the same stitch. So the last two stitches are always going to be in one stitch. So do you get what I mean? So this is row number five, and we're going to count to five each time. One, two, three, four, and five has to go in the same stitch as the previous one. Five, there we go. And that's our ratio. So this way it's easier for you to keep track of how many ones you have to do because each row you just count to the number of the row and the last stitch has to go in with the previous stitch. One, two, three, four, and five has to go in the same stitch. And that's how we're going to work around our whole circle here. Okay, so I'll see you at the end. So once again, I'm at the end of my row. I have already counted one, two, three. Then we have, of course, that stitch that the fifth one is already in this time. And I'm doing four and five are then in that last stitch. And we are picking up that one there and doing a slip stitch right there. Voila. So that is... Our first one, two, three, four, five rows in this color. So now we are going to cut this color and we are going to go onto the pale rows. And generally, what I tend to do to change my color, where is my end? There we go. Um, you can pull it through to the last stitch. So, what you could do is this. So you undo that again and you pull your next color through and you have changed color there. Okay? And then you have to put them, weave them in and we continue as we were. So this time we have our sixth row. So we've done the two chains up. Now we are counting to six. What? One, two, three, four, five, and number six has to go in with number five. And that is how you're going to continue on. So you're going to do five rows in this color and then five rows in this color. So remember, each time, each line, you have to count to the number of the line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm counting to six. The next row is I'm counting to seven, counting to eight, counting to nine, and so on. So the last row, you'll be doing 13 singles and then the two last ones in the 14th hole, I think. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> Something like that, okay? So just keep counting and keep increasing your ones in between.
okay and my little trick is to count to this to the number of rows that you are and put the last stitch in with the previous stitch